Kentucky and Ole Miss meet in a key sec college football game on Saturday, November 4, 2017. Find the game time, TV channel, and how to watch online below. The Wildcats, 6-2, sec, are one of the big surprises in the sec. They're already bowl eligible and now look to make a run at double-digit wins in 2017. Kentucky is favored against the Rebels, 3-5, 1-4 sec, and could be favored in three of its remaining four games. Ole Miss enters Saturday without Shea Patterson at quarterback, but backup Jordan Tayamu threw for 368 yards on 20 of 30 passing in a loss against Arkansas. Kentucky has the worst passing defense in the conference, Ole Miss has the worst rushing defense. Something has to give when these teams kick off Saturday. Kentucky Ole Miss Football TV Channel, Time, Live Stream. Kentucky Ole Miss Game Information. Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Date, November 4, 2017. Location, Kroger Field, Lexington, Kentucky. What TV channel is broadcasting the Kentucky Ole Miss game? The Kentucky Ole Miss football game will be broadcast by the SEC Network. Find the SEC Network on your local cable satellite provider here. How can I watch the Kentucky Ole Miss football game online? The Kentucky Ole Miss football game can be streamed online at watchespn.com or via the Watchespn app. How can I listen to the Kentucky Ole Miss game on the radio? The Kentucky Ole Miss game will be broadcast on the radio via the UK Sports Network. Find your local affiliate here. It also will be broadcast on satellite radio on XM Channel 192 and Sirius Channel 157. Kentucky Ole Miss Football Picks, Odds Kentucky is a 3.5 point favorite over Ole Miss, according to mybicky.ag. The point total for the game is 63.5. Joe Masato, Kentucky's last four home games have been decided by three, six, four, and one points, respectively. The Cats are 3-1 in that stretch. It just seems like every game Kentucky plays isn't going to be decided until the final possession. I could see a last-minute field goal deciding this one. Ole Miss hasn't won a road game this season and the Rebels' only sec win came against Vanderbilt, but don't expect any kind of blowout. Kentucky 31, Ole Miss 30. Kyle Tucker, the Rebels have given up at least 35 points in five consecutive games, which should be a welcome sight for a Kentucky offense that might be starting to wake up. Kentucky 34, Ole Miss 28. Stephen Johnson rushing attempts, OU 6.5. Joe Massetto, Dover. There were a ton of red looks between Johnson and Benny Snell against Tennessee. An offensive coordinator Eddie Grant said Johnson made the correct decision 100% of the time on whether to keep her hand off. The Ole Miss defense has to key on Snell, so there might be a few more opportunities for Johnson to run the ball. Health is definitely the concern. Johnson took too many hits for Kentucky's liking last week. He has to get back to sliding this week to protect that left shoulder. Kyle Tucker, under. He's had more than six rushes in a game four times this season, but coming off that shoulder injury against Tennessee, he was in a sling after the game and missed Monday and Tuesday practices. It's hard to imagine the coaching staff letting him run it very often. Benny Snell rushing yards, OU 125.5. Joe Massetto, Dover. Ole Miss's run defense isn't very good and Kentucky's offensive line finally showed signs of life last week. The Rebels are surrendering 260 rushing yards per game, last in the sec. The next worst rushing defense in the conference is Tennessee, which Snell just gashed for 180 yards. The concern with Snell moving forward is attempts. He has 21 more rushing attempts this season than any other sec back. Kyle Tucker, Dover. Snell is coming off his best game of the season and the Rebels have allowed at least 150 rushing yards in every game, 200-plus in five of eight games. The Tennessee game also was the best so far for a UK offensive line that has had to essentially replace three starters. That group looks like it's starting to click. Ole Miss passing yards, OU 250.5. Joe Massetto, Dover.
Kentucky's defense gives up more passing yards than any team in the conference, and Ole Miss still possesses a potent offense even after the injury to starting quarterback Shea Patterson. Now it's Jordan Tayamu running the Rebels' offense, and the results were good in his first career start last weekend against Arkansas. He completed 20 of 30 passes for 368 yards. Mark Stoops said Ole Miss's receivers might be the best group the Cats have faced this season, and that's asking a lot for a struggling secondary to contain. Kyle Tucker, Dover. The Cats have allowed more than 250 passing yards in five of eight games this season, and an average of 266.6, which ranks 112th nationally. The Rebels haven't missed a beat on offense without Shea Patterson, as Jordan Tayamu threw for 368 yards last week against Arkansas.